Using our fast dialysis graft declotting system on our mannequin training arm here, um, we've outfitted our, our latex friend with a um, simulated uh, dialysis graft, a straight graft uh, right here in the forearm. And we've already um, uh, established guide wire access with a um, 035 uh, J wire. Anything 038 or smaller will, will do just fine. Now for a lot of patients, especially those with uh, very fibrous uh, uh, skin or scarred, uh, scarred areas uh, near the access site, it may be advisable to pre-dilate with an 8 French dilator. And we'll even do that here uh, in our model. The uh, FAST device is prepared by inserting the, um, the dilator and stylet through the hemostasis valve into the funnel sheath. And it sort of uh, snaps into place there. You'll hear an audible little snap. Then the black compression sleeve slides down and compresses the funnel. As you can see, there's a little groove in the dilator where the funnel collapses. Then take a sheath cover and push that onto the device and slide the black sleeve back until it's in contact with the green split stopper tube. This acts as a spacer and makes sure the transition uh, between the sheath cover and the dilator is proper. And this distal tip of the sheath cover has the same um, outside diameter as a standard six French sheath. Removing the stylet, we uh, thread the funnel sheath assembly down over the guide wire and we're ready to advance it into the graft. And we're going to advance it into the graft until the step in the, die in the sheath cover is right at the skin. And then once we're at that point, we remove the uh, green uh, split stopper tube and we can slide this black compression sleeve backwards. Now holding the sheath cover at the hub here and holding it stationary, we can advance the funnel sheath into the graft until the sheath cover is right up against this black uh, sleeve. That ensures that the funnel is uh, has a chance to fully deploy inside the graft and then that will be confirmed uh, radiographically. If necessary, uh, the device can be uh, moved a little bit proximally to allow the funnel to open up into its, uh, into its proper shape. We can then uh, remove the dilator. Then we're going to exchange the 035 guide wire or our clot dragger. This is the expanding basket guide wire. Um, it can be inserted through the hemostasis valve. However, uh, using the we're going to use the um, the little cheater from our J wire to make this a little bit easier. So then the clot dragger is advanced into the graft. and move distally um, under radiographic control until the uh, uh, expandable basket is past, the, uh, is past the thrombus. When the clot dragger or the basket is deployed by pulling on these gripper handles, separating them will deploy the basket and that can be seen again radiographically inside the graft. There's a syringe provided in the kit it has a locking feature which uh, may be used uh, to lock vacuum or can be used without that feature. There's also a clamp on the side port here. It's advisable to aspirate a little after uh, entering the graft. And then the uh, clot dragger is, is retracted one or two centimeters. 
and then the graft aspirated a little bit. Syringe emptied if necessary. And then reattached. Clot dragger again retracted one or two centimeters, moving the clot toward the funnel. And again, aspirating after a little bit of motion. These, this is done in stepwise fashion, moving the clot dragger and aspirating a little bit until the thrombus has been removed. If necessary, the clot dragger can be uh, have its basket collapsed and be uh, reinserted uh, again past the thrombus um, and the whole process repeated if necessary to uh, scrape the graft clean. After, uh, after the thrombus has been removed, the clot dragger in its undeployed state can simply be pulled out through the uh, hemostasis valve and then if desired, uh, guide, the J-wire can be reinserted if, it's, uh, if there's subsequent work to, to be done with that, or the, uh, or the device can simply be removed at this point. The device is quite easily uh, retracted from the graft.